Today we're going to talk about the differences in the table saw and the band saw. And we're going to go into when you would use a table saw, what you would use it for. We'll talk about when you would use a band saw and exactly what you would use it for. And then at the very end, we'll be talking about which you need for which application. The table saw in general is great for both cross cuts, it's great for rip cuts, and it's going to get you a precise cut across a lot of different cuts that you need to make. Whereas the band saw is also good for those things but brings the added element of being able to resaw, and it can make curved cuts. So the first five minutes of this video, roughly speaking, will be all about the table saw, specifically what you can use it for. We'll then move into the second half of the video being about the band saw and what you can use it for. If you just want the details on the differences and when you want each, skip ahead to the last minute or two of the video. Thanks so much, and let's dive in. Hello, we're going to contrast uh, and compare a table saw to a band saw today. Uh, these are both rather large and elaborate pieces of equipment, tools. Uh, they're very useful in the shop, especially if you are doing any kind of serious work uh, in, your, in your workshop. The table saw comes in all different types of table saws and all different price ranges. As a matter of fact, we have uh, a whole series of articles on different table saws for different people and for different uses and for different price ranges. So we'll put the links down below and you can go and look at those uh, as, as you are interested. This is a table saw. This is a fairly elaborate table saw. Uh, I do quite a bit of uh, furniture making and fine woodworking. And for that, it's very hard to find anything else other than hand saws that can do the job of a table saw. And of course, hand saws involve a lot more work. A table saw is fundamentally a very large flat table which has a circular blade. In this case, it's a 10 inch circular blade. We have uh, the ability to raise the blade as high as, as almost half of the uh, 10 inches of the blade and lower it. And then we have another set of adjustments that allow you to lay the blade over on its side anywhere from vertical to a 45 degree angle. Uh, that would require a different throat plate in here, so I won't demonstrate the, uh, uh, that angle, but you, the table saw is versatile enough to allow you to do that. Generally, you either push through the, the like this with the, with the long side of the board being perpendicular to the blade. That's called a rip cut. The other thing that you can do is you can cut along the narrow surface of the blade, and that's called a rip cut if I do this. Uh, obviously, it's very versatile and allows you many different geometries of how you're going to cut the wood. In addition to that, this miter gauge allows you to uh, alter the angle that the wood goes into the blade, as opposed to laying the blade over at 45 degrees. I can set the wood at 45 degrees to this blade and push through and cut the wood at an angle like that. Uh, we also can have more elaborate guide systems for this that allow us to very precisely uh, line up cuts, in this case, at an angle. This is called a table saw sled for doing 45 degree cuts, and I can cut 45 degrees either way. Very useful for, say, doing picture frames. And then, of course, I also have a square one. Put the blade down a little bit. 
And here, I can very precisely cut right angles, uh, and I can have the, the, uh, the, that angle to perfection so that you always get a repeatable cut. It's the other thing you can do with a table saw is you can batch cut things. So you can set up uh, ways such that you cut repeatedly uh, like pieces of wood to exactly the same dimension. And many times when you're building something, you are going to want to have your pieces, uh, many different pieces of the same dimension. The table saw can cut mainly only wood. There are blades available to allow you to cut uh, metal and to allow you to cut fiberglass uh, and plexiglass, so forth. I do not use those because I consider them to be a little bit hazardous to use. So it's mainly a device for cutting wood. Clearly, you cannot take the table saw, this size table saw, to the job, to the workpiece that you're cutting. There are contractor table saws on wheeled appliances that allow contract, they're called that because contractors take them to the job site where they have a lot of precise cutting to do at that job site. But by and large, a table saw is a fixed instrument and you bring the wood to it. Cutting uh, is very simple. You turn on the saw and you simply push the material through the blade, uh, resulting in the cut that you want. Now let's talk about the bandsaw. I've moved over to the bandsaw here. Uh, the bandsaw has a blade that runs uh, around a track, actually a large wheel at the top and a large wheel at the bottom. The blade runs across that wheel through here, down across the other wheel, and then comes back up through this uh, arm over here. The bandsaw uh, uh, is, the ban you can use various size bands. This was a very large one, which is a half inch from front to back. Uh, you can get them in as little as an eighth of an inch from front to back. You can do circular cuts or, ang or uh, broad radius kind of cuts with a bandsaw, depending on the size of the blade you put in it. So if you have a blade like this, which is a half inch, you're not going to be able to curve very rapidly at all. So the radius of the curve you can cut is gonna be quite large, like five or six inches. You can put a smaller blade on it and allow you to do those radius cuts on a much tighter radius. This uh, arm comes down to adjust so that there is support for the blade uh, as far down the blade as you can get support. So the way to adjust this is you adjust it so that it's uh, sort of just above the, the thickness of the piece that you're cutting. This has a flat table. This table can also uh, rotate up to 45 degrees so that you could do angled cuts into the blade like this. Uh, I don't do that very often because it's very tricky to get the measurement, to get the angle exactly right. Uh, and it's, uh, I don't find that to be all that useful, but it is there for certain things. Another thing that you, you can do regular cuts and, I, and you see I have a miter slot here in the table. I could use the same miter uh, setup that I used on the table saw to push the wood through to do a cross cut. I can also do a rip cut against a fence, again, against a fence like we did on the table saw. So I would configure it like this. Some limitations of this bandsaw have to do with the width from the blade over here to this, uh, this arm. You can't, can't put something obviously wider through here, uh, a cut wider than the distance from the blade over to this arm. The bandsaw is pretty versatile. You can put different kind of blades on it and cut different kinds of material. 
You can also cut very thick material if you raise this as we had it earlier. In fact, you can do what's called resawing on the bandsaw that you cannot do on the table saw beyond the height of that blade. When we were over at the table saw, we showed you the height of the blade when it was up as far as it would go, and it could only do a vertical cut on something that's two or three inches. This, however, can resaw the wood. It's called resawing because you take something of, of a certain thickness and you resaw it into thinner pieces of wood by uh, going pushing it through in this rip fashion. Uh, you could also do a much higher piece of wood, thicker piece of wood, clear up to uh, this dimension here. Bandsaws come in various sizes. This is a 14 inch bandsaw, which indicates the, the distance, that opening here. You can get much larger ones and you can get smaller bench top ones, which I'm sure we've covered uh, in other articles that we'll link below. Uh, as always, you, by the way, you can click the subscribe button if you like what we're showing you. So now let's take a minute and compare the two different saws. We have looked individually at the table saw and we've looked at the band saw. Now let's once again review the differences between the two and why you might want to own and choose one over the other for a particular application. Table saw is a very big saw, uh, but it's a very accurate saw, and it allows you to do woodworking types of things, perhaps making furniture, uh, perhaps doing uh, sophisticated projects around the house. The band saw is also a large and fairly uh, intricate piece of equipment. It's used for uh, more general purpose types of applications because you can cut not only uh, cross cut and rip cut, but you can also resaw thicker pieces of wood and you can cut uh, in a radius, you can cut in a circle. Depending on the size of the blade that you put on the bandsaw, that will determine how tight a uh, curve you can cut with it. Uh, a table saw is not useful to do either curves, nor is it useful for resawing of any thickness. As always, uh, we would like, if you like what you've seen and it's useful, we would like you to click the subscriber button below.